I started this Norway trip not even planning where I would really go to, not really planning any routes or stops or anything, but somehow I ended up finding the most beautiful places. This also gave me the freedom to just enjoy the moment and not care about anything else. I spent my next night at a paid camping site and ended up chatting with these two sweet Swedish ladies. They recommended me to check out Alta Museum if I was headed that way. So that's when I decided that would be my next destination. I'm currently at Alta and I'm going to the museum. There are rock carvings and some other stuff, so we'll see. It hasn't rained here at all except now that I came out but it's fine it's not too bad yet um, the whole route is three kilometers but there's like a smaller one but that is a bit over one kilometer so I might just take that one kilometer route They have painted with red, um, just for people to be able to see them better. Fancy hotels and stuff have those like waterfall walls. This is the nature version of it. For the next two nights I found a small trailhead parking lot in a very secluded place. There was also an amazing view to a glacier and for me this was completely new. I had never seen glaciers before in my life. The hike to the glacier was a bit too long for me alone with my dogs, but there was a viewpoint I really wanted to check out. The hike to the glacier would have been 8 kilometers there and then 8 kilometers back, but the sign said the viewpoint was just 200 meters away, so I was super excited to just go look. Unfortunately, the trail was so muddy and slippery, and for someone who is traveling alone, you need to make decisions. If it's getting too tricky, too dangerous to walk, you need to just know when to turn back. Decided not to continue any further. Slippery rocks. Hiking shoes that have holes in them. Doesn't really work here. 
but I'm absolutely so very happy to have seen this. I don't know where to spend my next night. I might go to a paid campsite just to be able to wash some dishes. Also, look at this. Those mountains, those are so sharp. So I decided to take a ferry um, instead of driving. Today's plans kind of changed. I had looked a place to stay, but I, I, it was kind of out of order. Um, it was supposed to have toilets and all, but there was nothing. <laughs> so... I'm just going to take a ferry, um, this is my first ferry ever, I just registered my card so they will charge it directly and yeah. Look at that view! spot didn't work out um, I will go there I hope the rains are not following me <laughs> now so we can we can actually just sit outside and smell the fresh Norwegian air man it's so gorgeous here I can't believe I need to go home eventually hopefully one day I'll be able to do kind of like a bit more stable trip now I've been just driving and driving and driving almost every day I spent two nights at the glacier so that was uh, kind of new for me but most of it was just locked in the car to avoid getting all wet unfortunately now the engines are slowing down okay by the way the coffee was incredibly expensive here i only got my first coffee today it was raining when i was making my breakfast i just ate cereal because it was raining and i didn't want to step out to boil water so <laughs> 39 norwegian kroner that's uh roughly four euros so yeah. 
the front goes up. <laughs> this is kind of like being a child. We we don't have nowadays. We don't really have those kind of like ferries in Finland. We used to have those quite a lot, but now they've just built bridges and all that stuff. So um, not that many ferries left for shorter trips. So it's it's like. It, it, it's so exciting. It's it feels so new <laughs> and also scary, but we're doing fine. Oh, I need to strap in the puppy. Luckily, it turned out that the rains were not following me, and it was looking so much better weather-wise. When I started the trip, I didn't really think about that. What would I do if it was rainy? You know. It's um, something you don't really think about when you are just going for it. And that is definitely one of the things I should have thought about a bit more before I left. I also learned that you really need to have a backup and then a backup for your backup in case your plans just for the day don't work. 